Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how to draw realistic hairs with these pencils. One is to be and another one is 8B. So let's get started. I am going to use a dry brush for blending. So you can use paper stamp also. No other pencils required and grab your 2B pencil first and observe the picture carefully and draw each and every strokes. I am going to complete this whole hairs with this 2B pencil and as you can see this picture have a black background and it have some lighting on it on hairs on the sides so if you convert this picture into black and white the, that hairs will be in white color so i'm just going to leave the space for that and shade the background and compose all of it as like the picture so friends as far as hairs you want to do each and every strokes in the same direction as the picture have and first do the whole thing with a 2B or an HB pencil without applying much pressure because if we want to add some highlights using mono zero eraser or any other erasers we just want to do everything very lightly without applying much pressure because if we apply much pressure later we can't erase it completely and it doesn't look so, that much good so hope you understand and as you can see now I'm adding my first layer with an 2B pencil and I'm following the picture and each and every strokes want to be perfect as like the same friends I'm just leaving the space for that white color actually that has in which I'm leaving the space it have a over lighting and because of that if we convert that picture into black and white it will look like a white hairs so I'm just leaving the space because I didn't have any mono zero reserve for the highlights and I can't able to do that on later so I'm just leaving now if you have any of those just go with it it will be best and easy I'm going to use this 8B pencil for the next layer before that I just want to blend everything which I have drawn till now using an red brush you can also use paper stamp or tissue paper but dry brush works well for these areas then I'm just going to compose the background before adding the next layer because it ha as I said it has some white hairs and so I just want to share the whole background before I'm getting into the next step I'm using dry brush for blending you can also use pepper stump because we want to use the tool which we are comfortable and you can practice with anything but you can't experiment different things on your artwork especially when you are presenting it before someone friends I just lost a clip right now sorry for that and let's jump into the next step by adding the next layer with an 8B pencil this is very important add each and every strokes slowly by observing the picture carefully don't apply much pressure until you want a deep and dark effect because 8B is a pencil which is already too dark and you don't want to apply much pressure on that and keep your pencil so sharp as much as you can because the hairs want to be drawn perfectly and it doesn't want to be thick so if you are getting your pencil sharp frequently then you might get a thin and good looking strokes which will be very good for hairs
friends as you are seeing i'm adding each and everything slowly and i took 45 minutes for completing this hairs and the background and it's not much time for this because hair is a delicate thing and it won't be perfect and natural rather than doing things for our own and keep moving slowly i'm going to use a white gel pen for the white hairs and friends i have already posted a video on how to draw outlines the last video is that and if you not yet watched that video the link is in description and as well as in the cards please do check it out and friends if you already subscribe to my channel i'll appreciate it and thank you so much for it friends because it means a lot for me and if you like this video please share to your friends who are interested in drawings and who just want to see drawings and learn drawings and help me to spread our community and positivity friends here i just want to apologize for something because the last video which i have made is a very important video but because of my mobile phone i just ruined that video it just keep on hunting the focus is hunting like something and i just hated that clip i didn't notice it when i was editing and i'm so sorry for that friends and from now i'll be using an paid app and i think it feels better and it have some manual controls on focusing and like that so it is so helpful for me and my built in ha app doesn't have anything but it is very good for photography it doesn't have anything for videography so that's it and here we go friends you are seeing i'm adding the last details with the white pen here's it friends hope you learned something new and if you are new to this channel i love to have you subscribe right here and turn on the post notifications and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and share with your friends thank you so much for watching friends see you bye